Hey everyone! In this video, we will be scraping weather forecasts from the National Weather Service. We will be using Beautiful Soup library for pulling data out of HTML. We will pair Beautiful Soup with the request library to fetch web pages via GET requests. To start, we must ensure the requests and Beautiful Soup are installed on our computer. Open the command prompt and type pip install requests to install the request library and pip install ps4 to install the beautiful soup4 library. Now we can start writing our web scraping script. Import the request library by typing import requests. We will also need to import beautiful soup class from the ps4 library. We need to define the target URL that we want to scrape. In our case, we are interested in New York City. Next, we are going to begin using the request library. We will make a GET request to the URL in order to get a content of the web page. To do this, we will create a variable called a response to call requests.getMethod with the URL parameter. This requests the URL and returns a response object. The response object contains the service response, which in turn includes web page content, response headers, status code, and many other attributes. Using this, we can make a beautiful soup object and begin to find weather data. First, create a variable named soup while calling beautiful soup constructor. This will create a beautiful soup object which represents the HTML document as a nested data structure. Creating beautiful soup object requires the content of a response object. In this case, we want the HTML content of the response object we create. We also must provide a string for the name of a parser that iterates over the HTML. The HTML content is located in the content attribute of our response object. So we reference it as a response.content. As for the parser, there are a number of options available, but for this video I will be using HTML parser. Running the HTML content through beautiful soup gives us a beautiful soup object which represents the HTML data as a nested data structure. Let's call soup.printify method to print out a formatted version of the nested data structure. When we run this, the formatted version of the nested data structure will be printed out. HTML contains a variety of tags that make up a web page. Let's consider the highlighted tag. This is a parent tag for child tags. Let me can highlight all the child tags one by one. We can extract the parent tag using this simple statement. A tag's children are available in a list called contents. So let's iterate over the child tags. Let's consider the first child tag again. The Chrome Inspector tool allows us to figure out the names of tags as well as their attributes for particular delta fields we are interested in. Let's use find method to extract those data fields. We should specify the tag name and attributes for each particular data field. Let's print it so we can see the extracted data. Let's create a results variable with a type list. Let's append Python dictionaries into the list. Each dictionary contains data fields for each particular child tag. We can save a list of dictionaries into a CSV file using just six lines of code. We also need to import CSV module to do that. Here is the resulting CSV file containing all of the weather data we need. I hope you will test the script. In other cities, it is the best way to master beautiful soup. That's all I have for today. Please like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.